close up boost. So this is the hair in its current state. I've worn this about five or six times and this is where we're at. A little bit greasy, definitely ready for a wash and condition, but still in an amazing condition. You know what I mean? Wash and condition, but still in an amazing condition. And here's a back shot of it. I had some curls in here left over and I'm gonna just go ahead and reapply it. Now it's been a while since I switched up how I apply my lace wigs. So I decided to go back to an oldie but goodie just to revisit and see if I miss it or not. The got to be glue gel in the color black was my favorite application or glue, you know, for some time before I discovered the free spray. And so I tried it out. I did a thick layer across my forehead and I instantly remembered, like I don't even remember how to do this. So the first thing I think I did wrong was I applied the lace too quick. When I use the spray, I let it get tacky for maybe about 15 seconds. So I did the same with this. Um, I think I needed a little bit longer. So you're gonna see the lace looks a little bit white. I think I should have allowed it to dry a little bit longer before we got to this point. Um, nonetheless, I did use the spray and you will see along the way to help it um, bond whenever um, I found a piece that was loose. But I'm just using the back of a red tail comb to apply it. This lace on this wig is so flawless. AF Sister did their thing with this lace. If you want to see another tutorial where I showcase this one, I'll have it linked down below. Um, and you'll see in both that the lace is flawless. Now, I will admit that the lace did look better in the old one. But again, this needs a good co-wash and the got to be glue gel was a no. I'm sure you can see there that white cast and then also you have a little bit on the forehead because I did not do a clean application which is 100% 100% my fault so I just used alcohol to get it off and it didn't work <laughs> the reason that didn't work is because I'm trying to use a paper towel I'm sorry a um, rag and I'm just spraying a little bit on you have to use like a cotton ball and like soak it to be able to get that glue off of your skin so I went back after the fact off of camera and fixed that when I went upstairs later this night now I'm gonna just do a little bit of baby hair sometimes I like a lot sometimes I like none sometimes I like a little in this case I kind of was in the middle of a lot in medium like maybe medium amount so I pretty much like the way that it looks. I'm just a little bit irked at my choice to use that got to be glue gel. Like if I were to use the spray, this would look so, so fire. Still looks good, but I just feel like it doesn't look as flawless, you know, as my normal. So I just went on top of it and dabbed in a little bit of that spray. Just to try to make the lace a little bit more transparent. But if you've ever used glue before, like Ghost Bond, then you know if you apply your lace on top of um, the glue before it turns clear your application is pretty much ruined you have to wait till it turns clear so that's pretty much the case in this situation luckily this isn't glue it's just gel so when I get in the shower um, it's gonna loosen up and I'll be able to redo it in the morning but I love the way this frontal sits it comes pre-plucked 180% density 16 inches in length this is a full lace wig and that is the purpose of this video I'm giving you guys an update on the hair because this was a really 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 good texture hair especially for it to be chemically processed red ombre or burgundy ombre um, I believe this hair was amazing the lace was amazing some of the best quality hair I've received sometimes you know you get the color wigs and they kind of borderline synthetic hair this one here feels like virgin hair it's so so good so normally sometimes I'll leave the sideburns long sometimes I'll leave them short sometimes I leave them thicker this time I kind of made a medium and you see how amazing this wig looks once you go ahead and do your baby hair could have just literally left it like this and kind of just straightened it out or bumped the ends a little bit to give it um, some definition but I decided to show off the lace. So first I wanted to do half up, half down. And here I am brushing it in the direction. And you can see how great the lace looks. Now I was going to do no baby hair for this look. But because the lace um, kind of had a tint to it. Or a lighter or ashy look to it because of that gel. That's the reason I went ahead and did the baby hair. Just because you can see where the wig starts because of that gel. So my bad y'all. But here I am just brushing it back. I used a little bit of the mousse to kind of train it, mold it. And you guys can see wherever you part, you see lace, which is amazing. And because I did add powder to the lace underneath, um, it is tinted so it kind of looks a little bit more scalpish and not so tan. 
So I was doing the half up, half down, and I decided that's not a great way to show off the lace. Like, I'm not going to be able to show it, show it. So I went ahead and extended the park all the way back to the nape, which I did mess up in the back, and I needed Bay to help me, um, like, right here at the, at the nape. I needed him to help me to part that properly, but of course, he was at home goods. So um, you guys get the picture. You guys see this is definitely a full lace wig, and it's super gorgeous. I just need to go back and perfect that parting also i'll have bait add powder all the way back um so that it just blends with my skin tone and doesn't look so tan it looks more so my skin tone scalp so here i am just doing two french braids going back i call them cornrows you may call them french braids some people call them boxer braids i don't even know where the term boxer braids came from because i don't think we ever 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 said that word in my childhood i've also heard dutch braids blah 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 cornrows y'all yeah. corn corn rows I love the way my sideburns looks. You can definitely thin it out if you want it a little bit thinner. Um, it needs a little bit of heat. I just need to take the flat iron and bump it for a more flawless finish. But um, I did show you guys in a previous tutorial how I go ahead and shave my sideburns in real life to make my frontals lay super flat. A lot of you guys were not pleased with that video, but that's just the reality of it. I'm a Harriet girl when it comes to my sideburns, and I don't mind shaving them off because I do predominantly wear, um, what do you call this? I do predominantly wear wigs, so I'm never really showing my real hair that often anyway. And then when I am ready to, they're all ready back. There's never a moment where I've ever worn my hair down. As much as I shave my sideburns, I've never worn my natural hair and not had sideburns. Put it that way. So here I am doing the second French braid. And I love, love, love how the lace looks. Like with the exception of the ashiness. But the hair itself is held up. Like I said, I've worn it a hair full, a hair, a hair full, a handful of times. I've put tons of heat in it, and I've never had any issues with this hair. It's super gorgeous. I think this is a super flawless wig. AF Sister definitely has tons of options on their website. So if you're not looking for ombre or if you're not looking for bob, you can definitely find something for yourself. I have the coupon code listed in the description bar. Let you guys know how to save some money on your purchase and I just went over it and just went ahead and secured it a little bit more with the spray because it did kind of pull up a little bit for me doing my french braid go ahead and lay it down with the scarf also um, my braids underneath are just two big cornrows if I would have had my hair french braided really really tight and sleek like I'm in my little beehive this would lay super duper flat again here's another shot of the parting Last but not least, we're going to go ahead and add that Maybelline Fit Me powder for a more flawless finish. You guys know how that goes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share this video with your friends. Also, don't forget to shop AF Sister Wig. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.